Hi, I'm here to tell you about knights. Cut, cut, cut. Hey, you can't teach about knights. You're a Jedi. You don't belong here. But I'm a Jedi Knight. Uh -huh, fine. Close enough. So as I was saying, knights. Knights were usually the sons of nobles, but not the first son, usually the second or the third. The first son usually took over as noble when the father died. The other sons grew up in the castle, raising to the rank of page and then squire. They would remain as squire, training to be a knight until age 21. At 21, they were able to be knighted. Knights could then be hired by other nobles. You see, each country had its own king, and each king could give land, or fiefs, to nobles, such as lords or barons, in return for knights to serve in the king's military when he needed them, to pay him rent, and to serve on the royal council. Each noble could then hire knights to protect their land, in return for food, lodging, money, armor, and weapons. Whenever asked, the nobles gave up their knights temporarily to the king when he needed them for his military. Occasionally, the king would also grant land to a knight who did well in battle. While barons commanded knights, knights commanded serfs. Serfs, or peasants, did all the laborious work for everyone. They were the lowest spot on the economical pyramid. However, everyone was able to move up on the pyramid. The wealthiest of knights, for example, could later move up to become nobility. That way, they could retire in more luxury. Thank you for watching my presentation on medieval knights. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something that you didn't know. Bye!